Hello and welcome to episode number three of the Aubrey Lene Show. Today's podcast is titled and about how to turn your life around. <laughs> um, three years ago, probably two or three years ago. Yeah, it has to be three now. Um, I was just in a crappy place in my life and was not really going down a good path. So a few things transpired and I decided to absolutely turn my life around 360. And here I am making podcasts, which I forgot I can zoom in on this camera. (laughs) I'm using my um, taller tripod today because I have this little teeny tiny table and usually I have the computer, the microphone, and the camera all set up on this table. I have no room. So I was like, I'm going to use my giant uh, tripod. That way it's actually out of the way. And I can actually do stuff over here. I'm a little table. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Also, <laughs> I know I have new hair in every single video. And yes, I do again. My hair is black with purple underneath. It's a deep, like, plum purple. You can't really see it, only in certain light. I also have my glam on today, but yeah. (laughs) Yeah, new hair in every video, and of course, I'm staying true to that. Here's the new hair, so, and I love it. Dark hair is my new thing. I think I'm going to have dark hair for a while, so that is that. (laughs) Um, Let's get into the podcast, so. Basically, I've actually taken some notes. That way, this podcast is interesting and detailed and not just, hey guys, what's up? I have no idea what the frick I'm talking about (laughs) and just random. So, it's a little more structured. So, um, I put some things on my phone and I wrote some things down. So, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I think. So, um, basically back then when I started to kind of turn my life around, I basically dropped like everything that I knew um because life basically consists of habits either good habits or bad habits whatever you get yourself into whatever you keep putting in your life is what you're going to have in your life hang around two bums you're going to be the next hang around two rich people you're going to be the next you are what you hang around so if you're constantly hanging around bad stupid things and putting yourself in bad stupid situations that's where you're going to be. So, you can't keep continuing to do that and then be like, why am I in these bad situations? That's why. You're putting yourself there. You're allowing yourself to be there. So, nobody can fix it but you. Stop putting yourself in those places. So, as I kind of got older, I realized like I didn't have to hang out with family members I didn't like. I didn't have to be a part of sports and things, sports, chorus band, all kinds of things that we're not serving me and you don't need to hang out with or be a part of or do things that don't serve you that is a huge game changer to changing your life stop doing things that don't serve you and I don't mean serve you like um a waitress I mean serve you like bring you joy bring you money bring you success bring you things that you want and if those are things that you love to do and that bring you happiness go for it it just wasn't it wasn't the right thing for me anymore It was not good enough. It was not serving me in my life. It was not where I wanted to be in my life. So, I stopped kind of doing those things. Um, Also, like, I stopped, I dropped, like, all my friends, all my family, guys, everything. Because it was just a waste of my time. It was not serving me. It was not making me feel good. It was not bringing me good things that I wanted with my future. And... So, I just cut everybody and everything off. And there may be some peeps watching that I cut off. And here you go. Here's the story. (laughs) I knew I was in a place in my life where I knew that I was worth more and I deserved more. And I could just do better with my life than what I was doing. And I just kept seeing it. It was God. Kept seeing it. Kept telling me. Just kept thinking it in the back of my mind. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I here? What am I doing? Like, I'm so much better than this. I have better things I could be doing. So, stopped doing those things and found the better things I could be doing. And here I am. And um, I also learned to set boundaries. Um, You know, if I didn't want to 
talk to people or hang out with people. I didn't. I learned that I don't have to hang out with people I don't want to. Also, another thing was I had a crazy weight loss journey and um, boundaries with that. I learned to say no to myself and to other people when I'm offered things that I don't want in my diet, whether it's like my parents would cook certain things and I'd be like, no, I'm not going to eat that. I'm going to eat whatever I chose to eat, chose to eat. (laughs) And also like if I go out somewhere and people would offer me stuff and I'd be like, no, you know, that's not what I want to eat anymore. So I think a lot of it comes also when you're older because I feel like when you're younger, you just kind of go with the flow and go with like what you're told and what everybody else does. But once you get a little older, you get a little more sense and kind of clarity and you decide to start doing what the heck you want to do and making your own rolls so yeah that's about it for my first topic because <laughs> I've said a few of the things I've said a few things like I've said a few of the same things like a couple times so we covered that we can move on to the next thing um another thing was um well, is to put yourself first and only spend times only spend time on things that are serving you, are making you money, are making you happy, are going to bring you success, are going to fulfill you, and are going to lead you towards where you want to be in your life. A lot of people, I see a lot of people, me and a lot of people around me that are my age, and all their, I mean, some of them have a good head on their shoulders, but some of them all they're worried about is like the next fun thing they're going to do that weekend and uh, go get drunk and go hang with girls or guys or whatever and just waste their life. And then they get to 18 and they finally have to get a job and then they're stuck paying bills and they can never get out of the rat race because there you go. And then they wonder why they're there. Well, look back at the habits and the choices that you chose, that you made, that's why you are where you're at. So, yeah. I really kind of cut off everyone and everything and just put my head down for eh, probably three years now. (laughs) I was going to say a few months, but yeah, probably from three years ago till now and everything's just been working on me. Not to be selfish or not in a selfish way, but you kind of have to be selfish selfish I mean you can't go around worrying about everybody else helping everybody else and then you're nowhere with yourself put yourself first get yourself straight and then you can maybe look around and help everybody else after you figured it out yourself but yeah another thing is control your surroundings um Don't just settle for what's around you, whether it be um, guys, friends, um, whatever, you know, choose who you want to be around you. Don't just like, you know, if you have bad friends, bad family members, bad guys you're hanging around, don't just feel obligated to continue to hang around them because you've already hung around them. At any time, you can say, you know what, I'm done with this crap, you know, I think I'm worth more than this, and I think I could strive elsewhere. You can get up and leave and move on. You don't need everybody. Everybody can't go to the top, so you don't have to hold everybody's hand while you're trying to make moves. I mean, if people are trying to make moves also, and you're helping each other, working together to get to the top, that's cool. But often that doesn't happen and you can't take everybody to the top. So you kind of have to, you know, cut people off, cut things off and um, move on. Chase better things. Because everybody ain't going. And if you are trying to hold everybody's hand and help everybody, you're definitely not going. So it's all right to drop people. It's all right to cut people and things that aren't helping you out in your life and getting you to where you want to be, it's all right to cut those things off and don't ever feel, I don't know, wrong for doing it. But yeah, like I said, control your surroundings. Um, 
like whatever you hang around you're going to become if you're hanging around you can't you cannot fulfill a million dollar dream hanging around like i don't know twenty dollar mines you just can't you hang around two people that do drugs or that are drug druggies or whatever you're going to be the next you hang around two alcoholics you're going to be the third but you hang around two smart people or two rich people, you're going to be the third. And I mean, <clears throat> even if you don't have those kind of people to surround yourself with, then just cut off the bad ones and thrive by yourself. I mean, if you have good like mentors and people to hang around, then do that. But I didn't really have that. So I just cut off all the stupid things that I saw. And I've just been kind of vibing by myself and building myself my stuff by myself so yeah i sometimes think that depending on what you're doing who you're around i think sometimes you're better by yourself i think everybody's so afraid to be alone whether it be guys friends you're so afraid to be alone from that that you don't realize you really could be living a better life without that. Because sometimes, um, I heard this somewhere else before too. It was about like a little girl, something about a little girl holding on to a teddy bear or something. And, um, she didn't want to let it go. And there was God or Jesus, um, with like a bigger teddy bear that if she would just let the little one go, she could have this greater one. So sometimes you get so used to and so content with and like, happy with having something around you but you don't realize that you'd be better off without that like you feel more comforted and um you feel more comforted with having something around you but you don't realize that what you have around you isn't good and if you just let it go you'd have better so yeah i mean some of y'all might have good things going on so i'm not saying just like cut everybody off quit your sports, quit your, um, extracurricular, whatever. Some of that, for some of you, it's serving you, it's what you want to do, it's where you want to be. That was not where I wanted to be. Like, I was one of those person who always did, like, all the sports, but I never really enjoyed it, it never really fulfilled me. I just kind of did it, because, like, everybody else did it, it was a thing to do. You know, my family thought I should do it, and I was like, okay, let's do it. But, like, I always just hated to have to go to the practice. Same thing with the band and chorus. Like, I did it, and it just, I hated it. It was all just a waste of time. And so, finally, I got to a point where I just realized, like, how much time I was wasting and how much more time I would have if I just stopped doing all this crap, stopped hanging out with friends, stopped, like, chasing guys, all of it. And now I have so much more time and all I really do with my time is work because I rather spend my teens working. That way I can be retired in like my 30s, 40s, whatever. So, yeah. Work now, rest later. Instead of uh, spending your weekends or your days or whatever having fun just to be empty and have nothing... You could spend your time working on yourself and on actual work and then you could have money and happiness and success and you can retire yourself in your 30s and 40s. Yeah, it's a lot better over here. <laughs> um, another thing is to know your worth. I mean, if you're just feel like you're wasting your time or you ever find yourself, I don't know, hanging with these friends or doing this or doing that and you're just kind of sitting there like, you know, why am I doing this? For me, it was a lot more like, I think, being told that I was worth more than what I was trying to be. Um, I, like, I think I was told a lot by my mom before I really realized it myself. I think I was told you know, by her, that you're worth more than this, why are you doing this, like, and then I kind of started to see it by my, it doesn't matter how many times somebody tells you until you see it for yourself, and then when you see it for yourself, like, 
where you're at, what you're doing, how you're just wasting your life away and wasting your time on things that you don't have to or need to or shouldn't want to, then once it really hits you and you kind of see it for yourself, that's when you can make a change. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Everybody can tell you, you know, this is stupid, but, and you don't care until you see it. It kind of makes you want to do whatever more whenever someone else telling you don't do it, you know, because we all, all want to do what we're not supposed to do. So if someone tells you no, and then you're like, I'm going to do it even more. So you don't see it when everybody else says it. You, you kind of do it more maybe until you see it yourself. And then you're like, and then you're like, yeah, what the frick am I doing? I need to get my craft together. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> basically focus on yourself put your first put yourself first cut off things and people that no longer serve you that feel like you're wasting your time and are dragging you down uh know your worth see you know that you're worth more than whatever the heck you're doing and that you could be doing better get up and walk away don't be afraid um because God does not close one door without opening another, okay? Like, you're not going to end whatever the heck bullcrap you have over here to go over here and have something worse. You're build, make better for yourself. Build better for yourself. Because it's out there. You just got to find it. You definitely could, you know, do better than what you're doing. Um... But yeah, I actually wrote um, some notes and some like topics this time because the first two, I feel like I've been doing this way longer than I have. I think it's just because I'm used to running my mouth, <laughs> but um, I feel like the first two episodes, I just came into it and I was like, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the podcast. I don't really know what the frick I'm talking about and just kind of rambled for a few minutes and that was it, but now I kind of wanted to have it more structured and I thought I had a good bit of notes, but, um, now I'm just like, oh shoot, <laughs> I said everything I wanted to say. I don't know what to say now, <laughs> but yeah, also wanted to let you guys know that I did get another microphone and set of headphones, so I will be starting to have guests on, um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to have a guest on episode number four. And I will have like topics and questions and things for them, for us to talk about. So it will be interesting. Not sure who I'm going to rope into it yet. <laughs> I have talked about it with my sister, my dad, about like having them on. So hopefully I rope them into it and we have some fun because y'all don't want to just hear my mouth run all the time you know it'd be more interesting to get to hear me and someone else have a conversation about other things like my sister is a photographer so she knows the whole world of that and weddings working weddings I've worked weddings also doing makeup so we're all kind of in the wedding industry me my sister and her boyfriend so we all kind of can talk about that my dad is in the trucking industry so, you may hear some things about that. A few different things, but yeah. I'm going to have some people on. We're going to have some fun. But yeah. There's how to turn your... There's my little two cents on turning your life around. Or at least some tips that helped me, you know. And sometimes if you have good things going on in your life, cool, you know, let it go and keep doing good. But sometimes you don't have good, like, friends, influences, um, things in your life. And it may not even be, like, bad things that you're doing. It may just be things, like I said, like the sports, the band, the chorus, all the things that you're putting your time into that you don't really want to or need to and that if you quit all that stuff... You'd have all this time to work on yourself. And if you want to start a business or a YouTube or a podcast or anything like that, you can. 
because I cle- completely like cleared my life, cleared my schedule, and I had all this time, you know, I've lost probably 30 or 40 pounds and kept it off now because I'm always, now I have like more time and focus on my eating and my working out, my fitness, stuff like that. And also, um, I have my makeup. I do makeup for people on the side. I um, have my YouTube and my podcast that I've been growing. Also, other social media I've been growing, like the TikTok. Um, and then I have my online store, which I started like two years ago. And then it was kind of crappy. So, I just restarted it this past summer in like, excuse me, in, like, July, so, yeah, like I said, some of the things may not even be bad, like the sports and crap, but it's just things that are wasting your time, and I mean, if you're planning on pursuing a career in that, then, you know, keep doing it, because it's leading you towards where you want to be, but if you don't plan on being a professional sports player, and you're not having the time of your life doing it, you know, don't do it anymore. Find other things that make you happy. So, that's kind of what I did. Like, I just completely cleared everything and now I have time to work. So, yeah. Now I'm always working. That's all I'm doing. Oh, there's freaking hair on my straw. I'm always working on something, whether it be, like, actually working at my job, whether it be, like, working on my body, fitness. Working on my makeup skills. Um, working on the podcast, working on the YouTube, TikTok, all the social media stuff. The business is, like, always working working on something so yeah um I don't really know if there's anything else any more little information I can give y'all but yeah don't hang around bad influences all right don't hang around stupid people and stupid things so whatever you hang around you're gonna become and you sometimes don't want to become that unless it's good things if it's good things Keep doing it. If it's dumb things, don't do it. So, there ain't nothing wrong with having friends and having fun, but I don't know. There was just a switch in me like three years ago to where I was like, I'm done. This crap is not going to be my life. It's not going to be my story. It's not going to be all she wrote for me, you know. I just felt like I was worth more. I was better than this. I um, had, could be doing more with my life, and wanted to do it more with my life, and you can't, like, you can't say one day I'm gonna be a millionaire, but, you know, not be doing anything to work towards it now, just be kind of sitting around doing nothing right now. You have to be working towards it, so that was kind of my thing. I was like, I want to be and do all this with my life, and I'm not going to get there by just sitting here saying it so I have to get to work and um I was basically just like I'm done so I'm done with all like the back and forth I'm done with all the stupidity I'm just done and so I just cut everybody off cut everything off and moved on and started focusing on myself and my success and here we are so yeah But I think that's about all I have for today. Hopefully next podcast we have somebody on. I don't know though because I kind of want like my sister to be on. But I never get to see her because we live like two hours apart. Um, And we're both very busy. So it's super hard to like plan it and to make her come all the way up here just for a podcast. And also, like, if she does come up here, it's pretty rare. Like, if she comes up here and stays, it's pretty rare. And it's usually for some occasion. Like, she was up here the other week because she had a wedding. So, she stayed for that. So, if she is here, like, she's busy. 
so we don't have time to like sit down and make a podcast but hopefully episode number four has a lot of topics a lot of questions a lot of conversation with me and somebody (laughs) some lucky guest but if not there will be another podcast soon whether it has somebody or not eventually we will have people on so yeah thank you all for watching i hope you learned some helpful tips i hope you took something away or just were entertained by my mouth running (laughs) um but yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed and make sure you subscribe if you're on youtube or follow if you're on spotify and i'll catch you in the next one bye see you later And if you're on Spotify and you can't see, that's me blowing kisses.